Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Lululemon. Guys, if you're a subscriber to the channel, then you know that I am a big fan of this company. This is the fifth time that I have bought in on Lululemon, but I just had to because of the great sale that's happening right now. So in this video, I'm going to tell you why I just bought some more Lululemon stock. All right, guys, let's talk Lululemon. So it's trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker Lulu, L-U-L-U, -L -U, and their primary business, Lululemon is a prominent provider of fitness and wellness apparel, including yoga pants, leggings, shorts, running shoes, accessories. And when it comes to their market position, they are their brand is synonymous with the athleisure trend. They're operating over 700 branded locations globally. They have 39 stores through partnerships. They have a robust online direct to consumer or DTC business that complements their physical stores. Uh, but their physical stores are big. They offer a tactile experience, allowing customers to go in and feel those high tech fabrics. Now guys, I gotta say, personally, I'm a big fan of Lululemon. I love their dress pants. I love their dress shirts. Like, I absolutely a fan of the fabric. Uh, when it comes to their current investment appeal, they do have some temporary challenges. And that's why the stock is so low right now. Recently, Lululemon shares have faced challenges due to a more cautious consumer base and a minor brand issue with a new line of women's leggings. Despite a nearly 50% drop in shares year to date. These challenges are viewed as temporary and that's why I gotta buy some more guys. I mean, when are you going to see this price on this great of a brand? Let's talk about their growth potential. Global domination. Lululemon is still in the early stages of its global growth. They have low brand awareness outside North America and that points to significant future opportunities. They have a, had a lot of success in developing a loyal cons, uh, consumer customer base in mainland China, and they have plans to expand into country-specific markets in the rest of the world segment. But really what drives them, I mean, they've got global domination, global expansion, all that, you know, uh, but really what drives it is their product innovation. Expansion into new product categories like loungewear, business casual clothing, all of this is helping them guys strengthen their product offerings. They're strengthening their men's offerings. Traditionally, it was known as a women's brand. Well, guess what? Now, it's they've really leaned heavily into the men's segment. They maintain a premium price despite rising competition from new entrants like uh, Vori. Uh, also, financial performance, absolutely, uh, I mean, it's great. Strong, strong store metrics, particularly in North America. Average sales of $1,600 per square foot annually. They've got high operating margins, around 20% in recent quarters, and that's driven by their e-commerce sales. There are some risks to consider, and I give these to you. Every time I make one of these videos, I want to give you the risks, guys. Not just getting on here and giving you a bunch of fluff saying, hey, it's amazing, there's nothing ever gonna, bad going to happen, right? There's a lot of stocks I'm going to buy, and they're, they're going to drop, right, because of the risks. But in the long term, most of my companies, or even if just a few of my companies succeed and win, then, then I win. I beat the S&P 500. Here's the risks. Number one, competitive pressure. Lululemon faces continuous competition from smaller rivals like Vori and global giants like Nike. And defending its leadership, and they are doing that successfully, but in that lucrative athleisure market, that's an ongoing challenge. Now, the number two issue that we've just got to consider is economic sensitivity. They are vulnerable to economic slowdowns because of those premium prices, especially in the America's market. So a recession could definitely temporarily impact their sales and profits, at least while the recession is happening. Then the final risk that we have to consider is the geopolitical risk because they are operating in mainland China, which is a key growth market. It contributed 14% of their revenue last quarter. Geopolitical tensions between the United States and China 
could hinder expansion efforts as seen in previous consumer boycotts of Western brands. So just a few things to keep in mind. So who is this stock for? Well, it's definitely for me. If you're an investor that's looking for a strong consumer brand in growth mode, trading at a discount to its traditional market pricing, Lululemon is a great selection. Those that are seeking to diversify their growth-oriented stocks away from a tech-heavy portfolio, great for you. Now, if you already have an existing concentrated position in Lululemon or other consumer-facing retailers, may not be for you. All right, or if you're if you're looking for more aggressive or technology focused growth investments, Lululemon might not be a great fit. But guys, I absolutely love this company. Like I said, this is the fifth video I have made telling y'all that I'm buying more. So this is the fifth time I've come back for a little bit more Lululemon stock. But again, I just couldn't I couldn't help myself at this discounted rate. Had to buy just a few more shares. But anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a big like and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about Lululemon. Are you buying? Are you holding? Are you selling? Are you sitting on the sidelines just kind of waiting for um, a, a better opportunity? Let me know what you think. Um, maybe you're just curious. Uh, anyway, subscribe to the channel, guys, because I make a video like this every single week telling y'all what stock I'm buying because I buy a stock every week. And then I, I, during the week, I'm throwing up all kinds of videos every single day I'm posting a video telling y'all what I'm seeing in the market what you know what's going on in the world of stocks good buys things that are outside my normal uh, you know I may not buy it but if you're a dividend person then I make a lot of videos on dividends um, value stocks if you, a lot of videos on value stocks so subscribe guys because every single day I'm coming out with a new video anyway guys y'all take it easy have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video peace